Is that home office starting to get a little bit old? Are you looking for a change of scenery? Well, I think I might have found that for you. I'm Dan Jones. I'm on a Sea Ray 38 Sundancer. This is the boat brokerage. Hope you enjoy. I'm here in a beautiful part of Sydney, which is actually middle of the city. Not that you could tell. This is a national park, the Kringai National Park. And this is just one of the many places you can come and enjoy and escape reality, which so many people are wanting to do these days. And this is the perfect boat to do it on. I'm gonna just swap the camera around to this angle now, and I'll give you a bit of a walkthrough. So starting on the transom, um, perfect boat for going out with the family. Hopefully that wind doesn't get the microphone. We have the transom rail just here. So that's uh, for attaching your dinghy and the motor. Lots of people like to do the, those inflatable foam mats as well. Totally possible. Uh, we've just got access to shore power. There you go. Hoses. That was a little bit hard, too hard. Okay and ropes on this side, okay. Entering the cockpit. These boats are all about socializing. So as you can see, check that out. The whole family can sit around this table and enjoy. We do have a little bit of sun and weather protection. Um, some people have opted to extend this bimini in Australia. Not that it's necessary if you just pick your days. Outside TV just here, we have a mini bar area just here and underneath Esky, fridge. There is storage for life jackets and other bits and pieces under the seats here and we have got a shower just there. Now this has got a hard top just over the top of us here and some natural ventilation through this opening hatch here. We can obviously take off the clears and then there is a electrically operated opening vent just in the front of the windscreen there. The helm position is awesome on these boats and one of the things I love about these Sea Ray Sundancers is the, it's the design of the bow actually. They've designed it to slope down. Not only does it look cool from a distance, it's very handy when you're accelerating and the bow uh, raises uh, as, as you bring up the revs. Your, your line of sight is really good so it's a boat that you can operate single operator, no problems, and excellent visibility at all times. Sitting at the helm, you really do feel like top of the pops just there. It's quite a nice, comfortable helm chair. It is adjustable, and you've got space um, for two girlfriends or boyfriends right next to you, whatever you choose. Um, the instrumentation, yeah, it's more than adequate. We've got a large E120 screen with chart plotter. Uh, at the helm there, there's space for another screen just there. I know all the Yanks love to put as many screens as possible. There's a glove box just there. Drink holders dotted all around the boat. And when you drive this boat, you're really gonna learn how to drive a boat because she's a stick shift. Um, so that, what I mean by that is we've got the throttle, uh, sorry, the shift on port side and the throttle on starboard side and your wheel. Your wheel, not so useful when you're at slow speeds parking. You're really just using uh, the shift throttle and your bow thruster just here. But obviously when you're up at speed, you're gonna be using the steering wheel to steer the boat as well. Um, in terms of what we see here, we've got RPM on both sides. Then we've got uh, analog instrument, uh, engine instrumentation. So we've got temperature, PSI, fuel tank, and alternators charging all your boat systems from lights to windlass to bilge pumps to engine start stops which are electrical operated and then you've got a diagnostics just here um, trim tabs just here vhf there is a, a monitoring system so there's a fire automatic fire system uh, they are petrol v8s so that's good for safety stereo control this is going to be spotlight uh, and then spotlight control just here um, fuse box underneath the helm, 
Uh, so everything you need. Okay, so heading up to the bow on this boat, you've got a grab handle just here. Um, yeah, if you, uh, if you weren't steady on your feet, it could be a little bit dodgy, but with that grab handle, then you go straight to the bow rail here. You've got enough to hold on to, but you do want to take care. Uh, we've got a space for a sun lounge uh, up on the front here, and this boat does come with a sun lounge that fits in to that space just there. Fender holders, four fenders on either side. You can see on the roof, we've got the spotlight, the omnidirectional TV antenna, the VHF aerial, and the GPS aerial and anchor light. And plenty of space, just to give you some a feel for it. Whoop. That's how much space we've got. Loads. Wonderful place to come and enjoy a sunset drink up here on the bow or sunbake when it's not too hot. Just back to the features. We have a spotlight here and a second spotlight there. So really good for entering a, a new bay at night time. Uh, electric anchor equipment, that's all operated from the helm, but it can be operated with the foot pedals as well windscreen wipers as you'd expect and you can transit down both port and starboard side and the way it's designed is that you have these steps here and if you are worried about stepping on the upholstery the cushion will lift out on the starboard side so that's probably more of the dedicated step um, but you can do the same on the port just there. Now when you're accessing the engine hatch this whole area here actually hinges up via these hinges here so that's all one big molded piece uh, you have to close the door or it won't allow you to lift it and then once that's uh, closed you actually just have a, a, a button at the helm and the whole thing will hinge up on, on electric worm drives and you've got access to those beautiful big V8s for service and inspections. Come with me we'll go down and have a look downstairs. Alrighty so here we are um, Quite an adequate galley for a 38 foot boat. She's designed for great days, entertaining with multiple families, lots of kids, and then overnighting with those kids should you wish to. So um, I would focus my drinks upstairs because you've got the electric fridge and you've got the esky and all your food downstairs because we have one fridge here. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this around and another fridge just here. And then we've got a microwave there. We have a drop down TV there. We've got two burner hot plate just there. Sink, thingamajiggy, which goes into the rubbish. And then, there you go, that's your rubbish bin underneath. Multiple drawers, yay big. And if you just pan around, lovely saloon area just here with storage lockers up the top and as I mentioned before that is actually a TV which drops down so uh, wonderful place for a few people to pop down and watch a movie of an evening or send the kids down and get them out of the way so that's super handy and one of the things about the 38 Sundancer unlike the 375 and other sea rays in this size range is that it's not an open plan boat we do have a door here so that's one of the great things that separates it out from the others so you have privacy so proper cabin with day access to the head just here nice head vacuum flush toilet bit of storage there is air conditioning and a sink okay and separate shower which is another just got the boat hook in there for now but you get the idea which is lovely proper island bed on this one so two adults are going to be comfortable you've got side hull windows you've got an opening hatch we have air conditioning it all runs off the generator there's a control in here little lights that light up the hanging lockers on both sides they just do a good job these Americans you know they've they build a boat to last they maybe not the stylish folk uh, out there but they build a boat to last that's what I like about American boats um, you know you can you can come to the boat provided it's been well looked after 10 years later and she still does what they say it's gonna do how good's that sound? 
Oh yeah, one of these days we're all gonna have to drive electric boats, so you gotta enjoy it while we can. Okay, so pretty simple process to drive this boat. Batteries on downstairs, keys on. Once you've activated the power, um, just make sure you throttle down and you shift in neutral. Then I just put both buttons on, on. That activates the engine diagnostics computer. Um, I actually give it a little pump on the throttle because it is Morse control. So it's a cable going straight to the motor, just like they always were. And then start one at a time, just electric start. Hey presto, make sure my bow thruster is on. I'm just gonna go and do a release. When I'm by myself, I often just hook up on the transom there. Keep it easy. Alrighty. And just drive away. This is what it's all about on a um, sports cruiser like this. You've got a fast boat, you can go to some of your favourite overnight anchorages at relatively good speed. Therefore, if you're a busy guy or girl, you can pack the kids, friends, partner up, blast down to your most beautiful or your favourite spot, depending on the weather conditions or whatever you choose, and just have a great time. Um, and don't we all know, after this year, that's important. So I think, you know, if you're wanting to just enjoy those spare moments or your Sundays or, or stepping up from, you've had your bow rider or your day boat and you really do want to spend some nights out because it is a whole different scene. When, when you're out here for the evening, it's, um, it's like nothing else really. I've spent multiple nights here over the years and just seeing all the bird life and the activity um, around you, you know, I, before uh, what, today when I came down to untie the lines, there was a seal swimming around the boat catching fish. How cool is that? You know, you often see eagles flying up and around overhead catching small critters. Uh, you see the odd shark, so that's uh, less exciting, but it's still very interesting. Um, and if you're like me, you can just do a whole lot of boat perving too, and see all the cool machines that come in and out and have a little bit of an appreciation on that too. But uh, I guess the most important thing is boats like this, or boats in general, if you set it up right and you make it easy for yourself, it's time with friends and family. Rarely in life, I find, am I able to get into a situation where the phones can go away, the distractions are shut out, and you're having true friend or family or partner time where you can sit down and enjoy a meal together or just do a whole lot of nothing and just watch the sun go down. If that's what you can do on a boat uh, and that's what you can certainly do on a boat like this. So if that's what you're thinking about or if that's gonna upgrade your life, then perhaps consider this 38 Sundancer.